Ano yun eh? Tetare! Hi guys, this is Missy J and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a only in Malaysia video. See if you guys can understand how we Malaysians do it. But before we start, don't forget to hit that like and also subscribe to this channel right now. That's right, so let's get to it. Only in Malaysia at Mama. So if you guys don't know, Mama is actually an Indian Muslim restaurant where they serve like um, bread, fried bread. Is that right? Roti chanai, fried bread with curry, or you can take it with sugar and butter. It also works. Yeah, so that's what we call mama. Hand gestures. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Tari panjang. Oh, potong potong. You have to cut it into pieces. Oh my god, this guy is like insane. Okay, we do it all the time. Like if like we're done eating and we're like we need the bill, we we'll be like okay, we need to write because they need to come to our table and then they have to see what you have eaten and then they'll need to write it into the bill and count how much it is. It's all very manual. There's no like auto. <clears throat> There's no auto billing where they click 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 with an iPad. No, Mama is all very traditional where they write everything down and then they have to count manually. So your maths have to be good or you have to carry a calculator. Ane, sini. Apa special? Sini macam-macam semua special lah bang. Kita ada roti dulu. Roti. So he's asking him what is special and it's like everything is good. We have roti this, we have roti that. Roti is basically bread. Roti kota, roti dijo, roti nan, roti sardin, maggi goreng. See how he has he has it all in his head because everything is the same. Every mama store that you go to, they sell almost the same thing, but. Every Malaysian have their own favorite mama to go to because every mama will taste differently, and you have to go according to your own preference on which mama you like to go to. So usually, we would tr actually try out a few mama stalls, and we we would actually go to only one or two that we fav we like that particular food there because we have a hankering for it, or we just feel like eating it there. Ouch! Just hit a sale. <laughs> Ah, ane, sini apa yang best? What is Semua the best? Semua best, ane. Kita ada roti jantan. <laughs> roti jantan. I hope I am translating this right, but I think it's a male bread. <laughs> if I'm translating this right, male bread. Roti telur goyang. Roti telur. Roti roti serai, tuan tuan. Roti kunyit. Ane, saya nak nasi goreng. Fried rice, tanah sayur, without tanah veggie, pedas, tanah without gula, spice, yang penting, without bawang goreng sugar. Dia, lebih. But I want everything eh, more. Milo ais bungkus, mangkuk satu. Ha, ni. Nak teh tarik satu. Lepas tu, nasi goreng mama. Mama lebih. Mama lebih? What is mama lebih? I don't even know what he asked for more. Asal sikit. You tadi cakap nasi goreng kan? Mama <laughs> lebih kan? Satu dua mama lebih. Apa dah? <laughs> So, mama means, must, mama is like a custom, no, mama, mama is like a religion, I don't even know, but it's um basically, he just brought two men who is mama, because they are mama. Yeah. Ana, ais kosong satu, minum saja Ana, nanti saya baru makan. Honey hat girl. Super, nice. Ana, ais kosong satu Ana. So Ane is what we call them in Asia. Basically, Ane is like, um, hey brother, I think, like, sort of like a customer, like, hey brother, or like, excuse me, sort of way, but we don't say excuse me, we say, hey Ane, and they'll just come to us automatically, they'll know it. Wow, I like that. Wow, 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 amazing. Chicken. Ah, boss, nasi goreng satu. Nasi goreng ayam, cheddar. <laughs> He ordered fried rice without chicken, but the the guy who's taking the order automatically put chicken. Nasi nasi goreng ayam is fried rice with chicken, and he's like, "When did I say chicken?" 
macam mana nak bayar? Yeah. <laughs> It's like, so how am I gonna pay Boss, then? Yeah. Boss, I want to pay. Tengok isi mau. Tengok isi mau. Nasi goreng. Nasi goreng ayam. <laughs> <laughs> See? So, this is what we do. We go to the counter and then we tell them what we ordered. So, he ordered black tea ice with lime and also fried rice. And then the guy says, fried rice with chicken? And he's like, when did I say chicken? Because fried rice alone would cost lesser, maybe about three to four ringgit, maybe five ringgit. And if you add a chicken on it, then it goes up to like seven or eight ringgit. So we're like, no, I didn't order that chicken. You gave me chicken. Beware, guys. This is where they cheat you. See, it went up to lima blast ringgit. 15 ringgit for fried rice and black tea ice with lime. That is insane. Black tea ice with lime is maybe like one, I don't know, 70 maybe. And like a fried rice would be about 450 maybe. It should not be more than 10 ringgit. Oh my god, he got scammed. So here's where I realized that this video is not in English. It's in Bahasa Melayu. So I think some of you here do not understand it. So I'm just trying my best to translate it. Please do not give me hate comments if I translate it wrongly because my Bahasa Melayu is not right because my Bahasa Melayu is very rusty. I have not spoken Bahasa Melayu in very long, long, long time. I can't even remember when is the last time I speak Bahasa Melayu. It's my national language, I get it, but I speak English most of the time. I'm so sorry. So hot. Hey boss, boss. Ah, boy, change. Nanti ah banyak kawan datang. Berapa? Lima. Um, tiga puluh, tiga puluh ah. Tiga puluh. She's like, can you please clear the table because I have a lot of friends coming. It's like how many people? Five, thirty. And she's like, I can't count because usually when we go to Mama, we. We will, we will text in the group and be like, okay, let's go here. And then we'll see who comes and who doesn't. Yeah, so we don't really keep track how many friends come. We just like show up and then it's like a gathering. If not, if you don't come, then oh well, next time. So you have to pay to get the Wi-Fi password. Lemoy. So in order to reduce the tension and also create the atmosphere for the mama session, um, the person who's taking the orders always come and then they'll be like, Hi, Amoy. And then they'll try to speak in our language. Like if they see that I'm a Chinese, they'll try to speak in Mandarin or Cantonese or whatever they pick up. It depends on the culture that comes in. So whatever culture that they come in, the person who is taking the order will try to imitate whatever the language that the culture is to make it look like oh you know i'm i know your language too so it becomes a little bit less awkward but it's always awkward i think it's tea um tea it's like tea pool tea pool tea pool tea one and then roti chanai two yeah, so she's so when he came in and he, he and he spoke our language, then we in return, if we know it, we also speak their language. This is like the second order. It's not uncommon. Mm -hmm. So usually a mama session goes on for hours. So we'll sit there chit chatting. And we'll order once when we come because you need to order. If not, they keep bugging you. So you order a drink or you order your food. And then once you sit and you keep talking, 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 time pass. And then you'll be like, I'm hungry again. Let me order something else. It's very common. Very common. Oh, cakap lama, telur dadar. Ah. Dadar. Ah. 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 Ah.
It's very interesting how they know what we ordered. I mean, there there will be like a restaurant full of of tables and people sitting ordering different different kinds of things, and they'll just look at the empty plate and they'll be like, okay, this is chicken curry, this is um mutton curry, and this is fried rice, this is Maggie goreng, the ma uh, fried Maggie, you know. It's so fascinating. Even the drinks, they'll be like, okay, this is teh ice, this is teh halia, which is like, they look the same, but they taste differently. And they are two different things, but they can like see the difference. It's very amazing. I tell you, it's a talent. It's a really, really good talent. This girl, they ate a lot, 160 guys, you need to ask them. Sometimes the counting and the calling out of the names is just to impress, to distract you, okay? So don't get cheated. If the bill is too high, ask them what the price is. Don't simply blind blind pay for it because it is too high. A price for mama session. Mama is the cheapest food, I think, still. I hope it's still the cheapest food that we can find in the country. So, don't get cheated, okay? If your bill goes up to 100 bucks, I think you should have at least 20 people on the table. Unless you are feeding like two elephants, then maybe. No, one elephant, then maybe. But otherwise, your bill should not be so high. So, if it does go up so high, please ask them what... And how much is it? Because obviously that is not the right calculation. Then you need to bring out your then you will need to bring out your calculator to count for them because it's not right. Okay? Please be aware if you come to Malaysia. So that is it. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about Malaysia. If you guys like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel right now. And do not give me hate comments on my translation, like I said. My BM is rusty. Alright. See you. Bye. So, this is what we do. We go to the counter and then we tell them what we ordered. So, he ordered teo ice lima, which is um, tea. Basically, like, tea. And teo ice. For fried rice and tea. I can't say black tea ice. Oh my god.